Assalamu alaikum boys and girls and welcome to Let's Read with Eliza. Today we're going to be reading Zahir and Jamal the Camel Believe in Allah. Now this book was written by Amatullah al-Marwani and it was illustrated by Suda Jaudri. Shall we start? Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Zahir and Jamal the Camel Believe in Allah. Zahir and Jamal are friends fast and true. Where one goes, the other goes too. With a brand new adventure each and every day, they invite you to join their fun along the way. What do you know about believing in only one God? Come learn with us, beckon your pals with a nod. Zahir and Jamal watch the dazzle of stars shining bright. Who is it that made this lovely thing called night? Whose amazing hands crafted the world below? Can you figure it out? Is it someone you know? Anxious to discover the truth about creation, they search for knowledge with joy and elation. Starting from scratch, they look for the source. Where to begin? Why, their parents, of course. After all, dads are caring, wise and strong. Don't forget mums who teach us right from wrong. But our fantastic parents, the makers of all we see. Zahir and Jamal just don't think this could be. If not our parents, then who's next on the list? Who created perfection with nothing lost? Or missed. Zahir and Jamel hatch out a plan. They'll ask their teacher, he's a smart man, writing down everything they want to know. With questions in hand, off they go. Mr. Zaro, Mr. Zaro, Zahir and Jamel call out. Their teacher stops to discover what the fuss is about. We want to know who made this and that and the other. We want to know who made our mom, dad, sister and brother. Whoa now, hold on, laughs Mr Zaro with a grin. That's an awful lot of wondering for such young men. OK kids, grab a seat and pay close attention. There are important basics we have to mention. His words flow smooth and gentle like a river. Let's start with the name of the ultimate giver. Is it Allah? replied Zahir and Jamal, faces beaming with pleasure. Yes, believing in him is the key to heaven, an endless treasure. Mashallah, a treasure! Wow, this was getting exciting! On the edge of their seats, their fingernails they were biting. You see, continues Mr Zaro, his eyes flashing a twinkle, the path to our Lord is straight without even one wrinkle. It was revealed to the Prophet Muhammad in the glorious Qur'an. Allah alone is the creator, not any other god or man. Zahir and Jamal felt the answer was close at hand. Everything made sense. They were starting to understand. Allah means only one god, no partners, no help, no aid. He is the merciful king who must always be obeyed. Pausing to reflect on how to best make his case, Mr. Zaro opens his Qur'an to a very special place. With a finger tracing the words across the page, Mr. Abdul Rahman reads aloud, his voice melodic and sage. Allah, you alone we worship, and your help alone we seek. Closing the book, he said thankfully, all praise to you, the unique. So you see, my dear students, that no one else but him can make the sunshine fierce or make the twilight dim. There is no God but Allah, and Muhammad, peace be upon him, is the messenger of Allah. La ilaha illallah, Muhammad al-Rasul Allah. 
neither science nor magic nor men who are full of might. None of these can create the wing of one gnat's flight. There is no argument, no disagreement, no disputing this simple fact. Allah the generous made us all, and to him we must all go back. There is no God but Allah, echoes Zahir and Jamal with belief. Together we have found the truth. What a lasting relief. That was a very clever book, wasn't it? Zahir and Jamal found their answer. And did you notice, boys and girls, how that book was written? Do you see it? Maybe you can discuss it with your grown-up. And if you look at the rest of the book, you will see lots of games and activities where there's lots and lots of questions and you have to discover the answers. And there's a glossary at the back for the meanings of some of the trickier words and some Arabic words. What did you learn today, boys and girls? Remember to let me know by emailing me at letsreadwitheliza at gmail.com and send in your pictures too and maybe some of your writings as well and I can share it on my next video. What do you think? Now that was a long book today and I'm tired. I'll see you next time. Hope you have a lovely day. Assalamu alaikum.